what it will do is you click on the album and it's just every song in that album. So you can listen to each song in the order that it's in the album. So it's pretty cool. What's up everyone? This is Autogus Tech. I think I have an absolutely insane video for y'all. So I'll be showing you so much in this video. I'll be showing you how you can get five months of Apple Music for free if you're a new user. And this trick also works if you already have Apple Music. But on top of that, I will be showing you how you can take Apple Music to the next level if you are a current Apple Music customer. And I'm assuming after this video, you will be because you'll have five months for free. So long story short, this is how to get Apple Music for free. And on top of that, um, I will be showing you four awesome apps to take Apple Music to the next level. So long story short, these are all applications that customize Apple Music to really launch you forward in your Apple Music experience. So they change up the UI. So rather than using Apple's UI, you can get awesome more features with these apps. And you can only, you know, you can just get one of these or you can get all of these if you really want. But first, let me show you how to actually get Apple Music for free. Let's get started with that. All right, so to get five months of Apple Music for free is actually very, very simple. All you need to do is go on your iPhone and visit the App Store. Once you visit the App Store, you're going to want to get the app Shazam. Now this is a free app on the App Store, and when you open up Shazam, Shazam is an application that lets you listen to music and it will let you know the song. Now because Apple actually purchased Shazam, um, Apple now allows you to try to detect whatever song is playing and it will link you to Apple Music. But what's cool is they have a program to incentivize people to get Apple Music. You can get five months of Apple Music for free. So all you have to do is click the Try It Now button right there. But if that does not appear for you, you can still click this button right here. So this should pop up. It says limited time only. Go ahead and tap on the Try It Now. And once you do that, you'll see get up to five months free tap on try it free and this should work if you are a current Apple Music customer the only thing is you want to cancel your Apple Music subscription and let it expire for one month and once it's expired then this will all pop up for you so tap on continue and then from here you will see one moment while we look up details it's gonna ask you to sign in to redeem your code I will be doing that now you will have to update your payment info so it will charge you I believe on the sixth month but it will not charge you for five months now the only issue is if you are a current customer you will not get five months free I believe you'll get like one or two months free so that's the only catch so if you already have Apple music you get less of a deal but if you don't have Apple music you'll get the five months for free all right so now that you got Apple music for free for five months Let's just do the math on that. That's five times 30 days in a month. That's 150 days of free music, right? Now that you got that out the way, let me show you awesome, awesome applications for Apple Music. So here is my iPhone. And if you want to see a tutorial on how to remove the status bar, or you could see, you know, my lock screen looks a little bit different. It looks like blacked out, which is pretty cool. Um, I will have videos on that. Check out the channel. Um, but... If you want to take your Apple Music to the next level, this is the first app I want to cover. Now this is mainly just an application that has a very nice UI and it's just a nice fluid way to view your apps. It has a good night mode, which is very nice, and there's a lot of good gestures that Apple Music doesn't have. So you can literally just swipe like cover flow. If y'all remember cover flow, um, you know, back in the day with the older Apple devices, um, you can now do that. Just ignore some of my music. <laughs> it's a little sketchy. Um, but yeah, so it's a very nice UI. Um, this app does cost money, but not all of these do. But this app is very well worth it. It's got a nice UI, nice dark mode, and link will be down below. The next application is not my favorite, but it's the most functional, and I will show you a better alternative, which is this app, but I do think it's important to cover because it's very simplified. I like it. So 
This application is a good app to sort your music. So if you pair this up with your Apple Music library, this actually comes in handy because you can actually play your music as you download it. Whereas with Apple Music, if you download music, I love to listen to music as I download it, you know, in the order. The only issue is all of this is music that I recently downloaded and I got to tap individually to play the recently added songs. Whereas this app lets you just start from the top of recently added songs and it will just start playing through them. It's a very functional app and you can sort by year that the song came out. You can sort by the date added. You can sort by your most played song. You can also sort by the duration. So maybe if you're in the vibe to listen to really long music, you can do that. So this is a really good sorting app. And um, reverse, I'm not sure what this does, but yeah, but long story short, very nice application. But I do not like the UI that much. It is still a good UI. It's just not my personal favorite because this app has my favorite UI. So this app is like a more detailed version of the previous app. It lets you play your most recently played songs. It shows your recently added albums. It shows your most played songs. But also on top of that, it has that awesome music sorting feature, but to the max. So what's cool about this is you can play your music based on when you added it, but you can choose whether it's based off when you added it from the beginning, like the first song you've ever downloaded, or descending, which is the most recent song you've added. So there's an ascending option and a descending option for each of these. So you could sort by the newest year, or you could search by the oldest song that you've added. You can search by the longest duration or shortest duration, most beats per minute, or at least. So that's what these buttons do. They make it the most or the least of any of these. Very, very awesome. I really like that. So for example, if you were to do last played, you could choose the most recent song you played or the song that you haven't listened to in the longest time. Pretty cool. So very nice sorting app here, but also on top of that, it's got a good UI and you can um, customize more about this app. Something else I like. This app is very unique. This is more if you're in a particular vibe and, you know, sometimes you like to not listen to a playlist or not listen to recently downloaded, but this app lets you listen to one playlist. You, you pick, or my bad, one album. So the, the app shows all the albums and it's random every time and it's an algorithm based on what it thinks you would like. But what it will do is... You click on the album, and it's just every song in that album. So you can listen to each song in the order that it's in the album. So it's pretty cool. Um, so when you skip, it'll just go to the next song in the album. Then you can skip to the next album. So, for example, I skipped to this album, and it's got 10 songs. So if you're in the vibe for albums, this is a really good app. So, for example, this is a good album. And... I can skip around and listen to the songs I like in this album. Then I can move to the next album, skip around like that. I like this album, you know, maybe I don't like this one, or I don't like this one, you know. And it, you can skip through your songs, or you can skip through albums. I actually, this is how I like to listen to music. I will listen to music based off albums. This is just such an easy way to do it. So, you know, here, this album is a banger, I think. It's really old, but these guys make great music. And sometimes I'm just in the vibe to listen to a whole album, and then I want to move to the next album. You know what I mean? So, very awesome application. Definitely recommend. So, thank you so much for watching. These are just ways to take Apple Music to the next level and how to get five months free or a couple months free if you're already a user. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, peace.